we also saw a wonderful piece of science um, showing the relationship between biodiversity and ecosystem function. Very clearly showed that as biodiversity reduces, the function and services that our ecosystems provide in terms of healthy soils, fresh water, clean air also decline. This is an incredibly important scientific result for the future and really a call to action. All of these changes threaten our sustainability, but we firmly believe that innovation and societal transformation driven by new knowledge from science and engineering are part of sustainability. To achieve that, we've argued that unprecedented levels of international scientific and technological cooperation amongst all countries, north and south, and technical and financial support for scientific and technological capacity building in developing countries are needed. We need a new participatory paradigm for science and engineering engagement with society. We need much more debate between our, uh, between our communities. We also need thorough analyses of the technological, economic, social and environmental feasibility of proposed solutions. With all these things in mind, we've been appealing to uh, policymakers and arguing very strongly to enhance the science and engineering uh, policy links, investments in science, engineering, technology and innovation, and to place uh, society on a knowledge-based path towards a Now, at the moment, in terms of the text that's been adopted today, whilst we recognise that clearly there has been some progress, we're also somewhat disappointed. We've not seen the necessary level of commitment on these themes. In particular, from a scientific perspective, we simply don't understand why the current draft document uh, doesn't have a section on science. It used to be uh, part of the means of implementation. The lack of that sends a very unfortunate message, we feel, to the global science community and its sponsors. Natural and social science have sounded the alarm new knowledge from natural and social sciences and from technology and from engineering have got to be part of the solution for sustainable development going, going forward. Science and technology are absolutely mandatory to addressing the biggest challenges that facing humanity today. Thank you.